Hey, happy Friday. Wee! It is Friday. It's awesome. I hope you had a good week this week. I had a, I had a pretty good week. I did. I had a good day at work. And then I had to go, um, I had to go return some stuff to Walmart. And then I had, while I was there, I got a bunch of stuff for the upcoming reunion, like plates and cups and napkins and you know, just stuff like that. Um, and drinks. And then I went to Dollar Tree and bought some little storage bins, um, to put some stuff in at the reunion. And then I came home and I ate and now I'm here and I've had several people ask me, you know, like summer's coming, warm weather's coming. Do you have any arm exercises that you can recommend? So first of all, I have to say this video is for entertainment purposes only. Consult your physician, your physician before embarking upon any exercise routine or regimen. This is not meant to be an instructional video. I am not a professional. And as I always say, I am just a goober on the internet. All I'm doing is showing you some of the stuff that I do. Now I do things my way. Now exercises and cooking are two things that if you ever dare to make a video and put it out on the internet, all the armchair experts will rise up out of the ground like zombies and tell you everything you're doing wrong. As Miss Myra says, this is what I do, you do you, okay? This is what I do. This is not intended to be any kind of instruction or professional advice of any type, okay? I'm a goober on the internet. I'm not telling you to do any of this. I'm just gonna tell you what I do for myself. Now, I will be 50 this year. I know I haven't mentioned that in five minutes. I ha I'm excited. I'm looking forward to turning 50. It's just, I don't know, there's something cool about it. Half a century. My God. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm kind of tickled. Like, wow. So, the older you get, the more things tend to start to sag. That's true for everybody. I don't give a shit who you are. Shit starts to sag as you get older. It's just gravity. It just happens. So, you know, you want to take care of your body. If you think about everything your body does to get you through the day, every day, you know, you, you, you have to show your body some respect. You got to give it a little bit of love every now and then you want to take care of it. You know, you want to try to eat right, get exercise, drink your water, tuck your shirt in, you know, do all that stuff. You want to take care of your body because your body takes care of you every day. With, I was going to say without complaint, but the older you get, the more it complains, especially first thing in the morning. <laughs> but it still does it. So, the stuff I'm going to show you, it's going to be hard. I, I'm going to try to show you what I can. What I can't show you, I'll try to describe. Um, there are plenty of arm exercises out there on YouTube and other platforms. Um, you know, you can find all kinds of exercises. These are just some that I do, and they are not intended to be instructional in any way. So if you get hurt doing any of the stuff I'm doing, don't sue me, because first of all, I don't have any money. Second of all, I'm not telling you to do any of this. This is just what I do. So, so you want to do some exercises. The good thing is with arms, you don't really need a whole lot. You really don't. Now today, I'm going to be using these five pound weights. I got these at, I got these at Walmart. Now, back during the pandemic, you couldn't find weights. I mean, because all the gyms were closed, everybody ran out to the local retail establishment and bought all the free weights because they thought they were going to work out at home, although most of them didn't, and I was one of those people. But I did join an outdoor boot camp class, and we had to bring our own free weights and a mat and water. And so I paid a ridiculous price for these online. I think, it, was it Walmart? No, these I did get at Walmart. I have another set that I bought for a ridiculous price online. Cause I couldn't find them anywhere. Now, I, when I first started working out my arms, I started with three pound weights. And that's one of the first things I'll tell you. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is they start out with heavy weights. Don't push yourself too hard when you start, especially if you haven't worked out in a while, you want to ease into it because what I see a lot of people do, I see it all the time. They come in and they just go at it just as hard as they can. They got the big old weights and you can tell they're struggling with those weights, but they won't put them down because of pride or whatever. And I'm sure the next day or two, they were so sore they couldn't move and then they just never came back. Start out light, you know, and if you don't have any weights, that is okay. 
you can use anything for a weight. I picked this up when I was at Dollar Tree because I was standing in line and I saw these and I thought about it. I thought, you could use that for a weight. Now, if you needed to start out with lighter weight, you could get a bottle. You could fill it with water or sand or rocks or whatever you have and get it about to where you want it. Get whatever weight you want to get. And you could just get a couple of these and you could work out with a bottle. You could, you can use anything. You don't have to go spend a whole bunch of money on weights. Um, okay, several things to keep in mind. Now, most people, when they start thinking about working out their arms, what what do they do? What do, what do people do? They do this right here. Well, 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 there's nothing wrong with that. But this right here is really only working your bicep. This right here, it's working that you have a whole lot of muscles in your arms and your shoulders. You do. You got the bicep, but you got this tricep, which for women can be a real problem. You know, you get the bat wings. As you get older, they start, you know, flapping. I think they always have a little bit of jiggle to them. But you, you can definitely work on that. There's plenty of stuff you can do. Now, this is your tricep right back here. That's that thing that starts jiggling. <laughs> Mine had a lot of jiggle to it for a while. I've, I've been trying to work on it though. I've been trying to tighten it up. You got that. You got muscles up here. Look at that. You got muscles back here. You want to work on the back. You got muscles back there. You want to work all of it. Oh, another tip too. Now this is something my hairdresser got on to me about. If you have fine hair and, and you bleach the hell out of it like I do or you color it or whatever, your hair can get very brittle, and if you keep putting it in a ponytail, it can start breaking off back here where the ponytail is. My hairdresser told me to stop doing that. So what I do, because I cannot stand to have my hair anywhere on my face or my neck. So what I do, I put these little clips on the side. I'll show you what they look like. I have one here. I bought these on Amazon, and I have fine hair that's very slippery. These little grip clips, I think they're from... I want to say Revlon makes these. These little no-slip grip thingies. They have these little bumps on them, and they have these parts here that sit like that. They won't slide out of your hair. I mean, I have super slippery fine hair. They don't, they don't move. They will not slip out of your hair. I, think, I got them on Amazon. I think they were from Revlon. So I put in two of those, and then I just do, my hair is very fine, so I just do one little braid, just a very simple braid, and I just put a little... A little fabric ponytail holder in it just like that that keeps it off my neck and it keeps it out of my face and it keeps it from getting broken and you know back here so you're not tying a pony you're not putting a ponytail in your hair so it keeps my hair out of the way so that's one thing I like to do um, your shoulders your shoulders you want to try to stretch out a little bit it's good for your body anyway to do to just do some stretches Go up like this, bend back a little bit. You could take your hands to the back, clasp them together and kind of stretch a little bit like that. Um, as you work out, some of the workouts you do, pay attention to what your shoulders are doing. Because for me, some exercises, my shoulders, shoulders just start to gradually creep up towards my ears. And I have to force myself to get, keep your shoulders out of your ears. Keep them down. Keep them down like that. Don't hyperextend anything. Don't, uh, don't extend body parts further than they need to go. For example, if you're doing flies, I don't know how I'm gonna show you this. I need a cameraman. If you're doing flies where you're, you're bent over and your back is, you're, you're hinged over forward a little bit, keep your back flat and you're bringing your arms out like this. Don't bring your arms up like, say I'm, I'm not gonna do it with the weights because my shoulder's bothering me. Don't bring them way up here. You're not a bird. You're not trying to fly away, so pretend I have the weights in my hands. Keep your arms bent a little bit. This is for your back, mainly. Again, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm a goober on the internet. Don't sue me. Okay, so you, wanna, you don't want to take your arms back like that. That's hyperextending, don't do that. It's not good for you and you're not gonna get anything out of it. Just keep them, you know, keep them like that. Don't, don't rush it. You're not trying to fly. You're not trying to get off the ground. 
Don't go too fast. Keep your arms slightly bent. You don't want them straight. Keep them slightly bent like that. So that's a that's a, a fly. You call it. Everybody has different terms for these exercises. You call them whatever you want to. You can call them you can call them on, call them on Frank if you want to. There are all kinds of different exercises, and I'm not going to show you all of them. I'm just going to show you some of the ones I do. Now, I go to, right now, I'm going to four exercise classes a week. It was five, but since I started this full-time job, I had to drop one of them. For now, I may get back to it. Um, and in three of these classes, we do arm exercises. And they're all a little bit different. But the exercises work out different parts of your arms, your back, your shoulders. If you just work this right here, you're gonna, you may see a little difference here. You're not gonna see a difference here. You're not gonna see a difference up here. You got all this across here. Look at that. Cause you have your lats, you have your pecs, you have, I'm, I'm not an expert again. I'm just telling you, I'm just trying to explain that you have, you have a lot of different muscles that you have to work. And it's not just, it's not just that one right there. You have other ones that you wanna work as well. Most of the work that I do is just with free weights. Now, some of the work I do with six pound weights, some I do with five, some I do with four. With triceps, some a lot of the tricep exercises I do with four pound weights, but you have to figure out what works for you. That's what works for me. Do not compare yourself if you're in an exercise class. Don't decide what you should be doing based on what the person next to you is doing. Don't even worry about what they're doing. They're not worried about what you're doing. Don't worry about what they're doing. If they've got eight pound weights and they're going at it, good for them. That may be way too much for you. I don't use eight pound weights. The heaviest I go is six. And you can get a good workout with a, 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 a light weight. Now, there are arm exercises you can do to, to tone and strengthen. And that is all I do. I'm not trying to be a, like a, a bodybuilder. You're not going to get big and bulky. Don't you're not going to look like Arnold. Don't worry about that. That's not how this works. You're using lighter weights, more repetition for toning and strengthening and making everything nice and smooth. So, start out with lighter weights. Don't get too ambitious with it. Get in there, figure out what's comfortable but not too comfortable. Now that you should experience some degree of discomfort. This should not be so easy that you just kind of, you know, you know, whatever. If it's super easy, you need heavier weights. But keep your form, keep good form, get your technique down. You might want to work with somebody because I, I cannot do that for you, okay? I am not a personal trainer or anything like that. I can't help you with your form, but there are definitely certain ways that you do each exercise. You want to get your form right before you worry about the weight. You can start out with light weight. Mainly, you're trying to get the form where you want it to be. Um, one thing I see a lot of people do, talking about form. Okay, say so you're doing bicep curls, which is everybody's favorite arm exercise. Oh, I want to fix my arms. So they got their, how can I show you this? So they got their, they got their, their little hand weight, right? And they're doing this right here. They're just kind of flinging it up and down. Okay, this elbow should not be up here. You're not getting ready to, you know, elbow somebody. Your elbow, if you're doing a, a bicep curl, your elbow shouldn't be anywhere near here. I don't know what exercise this is, but it's not really doing what you want it to. When you do a bicep curl, you want to keep that elbow locked right here. It shouldn't be coming up. You're going to end up punching yourself in the face anyway. Keep it locked right here. Just keep it stuck to your side. The only thing that should be coming up is this right here. You can do it where you fully extend your arm and make it flat and bring it up. You can trap it right here. I do a combination of both. I do some like this and some where I fully extend. Take your time with it. You don't need to rush. You also don't want to flop the weight down like uh-uh. It should be controlled up, control down. Control up, control down. Like that. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry with these exercises. You don't want your arms flying all over the place because that is a really good way to hurt yourself. You could, I have, 
I once saw somebody hit themselves in the chin with a weight and it was not pretty. Don't do that. It hurts. So I understand. I've never done it, fortunately. I about tripped over some weights one day and that was my fault because I set them behind myself. I don't know why, what I was thinking. Triceps. Triceps. Now there's a tricep exercise you can do without weight. This is from Calinetics. <clears throat> it's going to be hard to, to show you this. All right, so you extend your arms out. I don't know how to show you this. You're going to turn your shoulders so you have your arms like this. So I've got my hands facing you. Turn your shoulders. Turn your arms like this. Take them behind you. Get your shoulders down. And what you're trying to do is get the arms, get the, hand, the fingers, the thumbs to touch each other. Don't drop down. Keep the arms straight. And you're just moving back and forth. It's a very delicate, gentle motion that I'm having trouble showing you. Keep them straight. Do that a hundred times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After a little while, you're going to need to bring them down slowly. <laughs> it's a really good tricep exercise and it takes no, no free weights at all. You can do that with absolutely nothing. But you start Twist your palms, take it back, I'm trying to get the thumbs to touch each other. Keep your head back, keep your shoulders down. You don't want them up like this. You want them down out of your ears, back and forth, and bring them down. It's a nice, it's a nice little tricep workout. Another thing you can do for your triceps, again, start with lighter weights. You want a slight dis. You want to be un. You want. To, you're going to have some discomfort, and you're probably going to be sore the next day. You don't want it to be so. If you're experiencing severe pain, you need to stop whatever you're doing. Whatever you stop doing that. <laughs> if you're experiencing severe pain, that is not good. Don't do that anymore. For triceps, this is what I like to do. Again, these are things I do. You can you can do them however you want. So I take my five pound weights, I have both of them, one in each hand. Take them up over my head. Now you want to keep your elbows together like you're squeezing a beach ball, okay? And you just do, you keep your elbows still. And you do this right here. You can pulse them back here, but again, it's a controlled motion. Don't flop your arms around. Don't let it drop down. Control up control down. You can fully extend. You can do pulses. You can also do tricep dips. And I, I have no way to just, <laughs> I'm not going to try to get down on the floor and, and uh, show you that. But um, what you do is, and you can do a tricep dip off of just about anything like a bench or any, any solid surface. You want to have a good grip on it. You get on the edge of it. Put your hands on the thing behind you. You let your butt down off of it and you just do dips with your hands and keep your arms back like that. And you're using your triceps to lift yourself up and down. So that's a tricep dip. I can't really illustrate that here. Um, oh, a good one is butterflies. I like this one. So this is a nice... I, I guess it would really be shoulders. I think I can do it in here. How am I going to show you butterflies? Okay. So I, <laughs> I have my, I'm holding my weight straight down. You take your arms straight. You keep your arms straight. Take them all the way up very slowly or just not fast. Keep your arms straight and bring them down. So it's like you're making a circle with the weights. That one's hard to that one's hard to illustrate, but that that's butterflies. Hammer curls are just like bicep curls. You're just keeping you're keeping your arms like this instead of like this. So this is a bicep curl. This is a hammer curl. We have wide W's. These can be uncomfortable, but it's a good exercise. So you're basically making a W with your arms and your body. 
Take them out to the side, out, in. Very controlled, don't flap around, don't flap about, wide W's, like that. You have this one right here, it's just going straight up and down, right in front of your body. And oh, <laughs> I like, I like Mac raises, Mac raises are fun. This is one where one arm is going to go straight out, the other one comes back. Then they come down, and then you switch, and you switch, and you switch. They're just going straight out in front of you. That is a Mac raise. Just like that. I like that one. You have your goal posts. <laughs> you can do like that. Pet decks. You're bringing your elbows in like that. And again, you're not flapping around. What else do I do? A really good thing to, I like to, it's kind of weird doing this because I always have music playing when I'm working out, so it's kind of weird not to. A really good song for arm exercises, and I do this in one, of, we do this in one of my classes really frequently, Beyonce's Love on Top. It's like a four minute long song. And during this, the song, we let the whole song play and throughout the song, we do six different arm exercises and you change them out about every, I don't know, oh, about every 30 seconds or so. But it's actually, I don't know, it works out somehow. We get all six exercises in throughout the duration of that song. So it's, it's about four minutes, so. Oh my God, but if you want to find other arm exercises, there are tons of them on, um, on YouTube. You can go up, come down, keep your shoulders out of your ears. So if you want to work on your arms, you can do a rotation. Just do it very carefully. Do everything deliberately. You don't want anything flapping around. Use controlled motion for everything you do. Just like that. Smiles. <laughs> I never smile when I'm doing smiles. I don't like them. That's where you have the weights and you just kind of, you're making a smile with your weights. See? Like that. What else do I do? <laughs> there are other, let's see, you can do tricep extensions where you can either hinge over, and a lot of these you can do seated as well. You don't have to be standing to do a lot of these. You can do a lot of these sitting down if you want, although some of them are easier to do if you're standing up. Tricep extension, you can be leaned over, you can be kneeling, you can stand, just bent over. You're gonna take your arm back and say so you have a weight you keep this elbow up. You don't let it come, you're not doing this. You keep it up and your arm just hinges like that. You could just start out with no weight. You could just start out trying it with body weight or something very light like this bottle of water. But you wanna keep, you wanna keep the elbow up. Again, entertainment purposes only. I am no professional. Please do not criticize me or tell me what I did wrong. I don't care. No, I do care because I don't want you to hurt yourself, okay? do. I'm just giving you some ideas. I'm trying to show you stuff I do, and I do these things multiple times a week. So, I do not have perfect arms, okay? Let me tell you something. The people that you see out there on social media, they don't either, nobody, they don't even look like that. Those people don't even look like that in real life. A lot of it is Photoshop, doctoring, lights, angles. It's a bunch of shit. They don't really look like that, okay? You don't have to strive for perfection, but if you just take a little bit of time every day, you can definitely make a difference. And it doesn't take a whole lot. You don't need a bunch of crazy equipment. You don't need fancy stuff to tone up your arms or any part of your body. 
Um, there are tons of exercises out there. If you just look on YouTube, I mean, there are tons and tons of videos with all kinds of exercises that you can try. Because, but again, remember, you have all different muscle groups and different types of muscles. It's not just this. It's this back here. It's this up here, across here, back here. There's a whole lot of stuff that you have to work beyond just this little bit right here. I mean, that's important. We want, it, we want to look good in our tank tops this summer, but you have to do different kinds of exercises. And if there's one that you don't like, like you, I want to do some shoulder exercises, but I hate this exercise. There are plenty of other ones you can try. Now, you're not going to love it. Well, I mean, you might love it. It's going to be uncomfortable. You will feel discomfort. I still feel discomfort <laughs> every week that I work out and I do my different exercises, I feel discomfort. I mean, it never goes away. There are lateral raises. You bring the weight straight up and it's controlled up and down. Don't flop your arms down. You can take them out to the side, but don't hyperextend. Again, you don't want your arms going way up yonder somewhere unless you're doing butterflies. And it's very controlled. You can do front and then side, front, side, Mac raises. I don't know. There's just something about that. I feel like I'm pulling back a bow and arrow or something, and it makes me feel really adventurous. It makes me feel, I feel like Robin Hood or something. But that's a good exercise. Oh, the one I hate the most. I'll show you the one I hate the most. It's good, though, I think, for the for the tops of the shoulders. I hate this one. I almost never do it. I need to get back to doing it. You take your weights, get your elbows together. It's a very simple exercise, but it's, you wouldn't think it would hurt. Try it though. <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> oh, it doesn't hurt right away. Give it about 10 seconds. Then you'll see what I mean. Put your elbows like this. Just do this right here. And depending on how heavy your weight is and keep your elbows together keep them together you start feeling it in about 10 15 seconds by 20 seconds you're really feeling it <laughs> but it's good I really feel it like right here right up in here yeah so this has been an entertainment video I hope you have enjoyed it um, but yeah, I do what I do. Okay, so I have these weights up here and I do my Calinetics workout every Saturday morning and I have a new Calinetics DVD that I'm going to try tonight. And in the mornings when I'm doing the Calinetics video, there are several parts of the video where she talks and explains stuff. So I take those several minutes to grab my weights and just do something. I have another set of weights down in the living room and sometimes when I'm in the living room just hanging out, I'll pick them up and do an exercise while I'm down there just doing whatever. <laughs> and then I go to my exercise classes and I work out there. So um, how, much how much time every week do I put into my arms? A total, probably 45 minutes a week. But that's not all at once. That's like throughout seven days. So you're looking at like what six to seven minutes a day I mean even that it's probably not even that much honestly it might be like five minutes a day so maybe 35 minutes a week <laughs> so it's not a lot and again start out with lighter weight don't if you haven't worked out in a while don't go grab like 10 pound weights you know don't 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 start out light so you can get the technique right you want to get the form right you want to make sure you're doing everything properly if you're supposed to keep your back flat, a lot of people have trouble with that depending on what the exercise is. They tend to hunch over or sway their back. You might want to work on keeping your back flat while you do the exercise because a lot of people, especially when they start to get tired, their form suffers and they, they're not doing it properly and you can hurt yourself. At the very least, you're not going to get out of the exercise what you want to. Um, Start out slow. You do want to feel some level of discomfort. It should not be super easy. If it's super easy, that means you could probably do more weight or more repetitions or you could step it up a little bit. 
And you're not going to see results in the first day. You will be sore, but that it's you're supposed to get sore. You're going to feel some soreness. That means your muscles have been worked, and that's what you wanted to do. So mission accomplished there. If you're so sore you can barely move, you want to back off a little bit. Maybe don't use as much weight. Don't do as many repetitions, whatever it is. But don't give up. If you get really sore, don't give up. Because a lot of people do. They get really sore and they think, oh, I need a few days off and then I'll go back. And they never go back. So I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to give up. Because you can do it. I know you can do it. So, I mean, there are people in my classes who are in their 60s and 70s who could probably outdo, who could outdo me. I know there's one in particular who's 65 who teaches exercise classes who could kick my ass. You can do it. Your age is no excuse. Your age is not an excuse. It's not. Age is just a number. Don't, don't let it fool you into thinking that you can't do anything because you absolutely can. So that's what I do. What else do I do? That's pretty much it, honestly. Um, I think I've kind of shown you everything I can. The tricep dips I can't show you. There are also tricep push-ups, which you can look up. I don't personally like tricep push-ups um, because I have a bit of I have a little bit of trouble with the shoulder right here, and certain push-ups really seem to irritate it. Um, tricep push-ups irritate whatever is going on with the shoulder, so I try to stay away from tricep push-ups. I can do other kinds of push-ups. And they're really good. They're really good exercises for your, for your chest and your arms and your back and everything. Just make sure you're doing them right. Proper form is very important. Don't ask me for proper form because I can't tell you you need to talk to a professional about that. And I am not a professional. I am a goober on the internet. Okay. But several people did ask me if I could show you some of the stuff I do. And that's what I do. It's nothing... It's nothing fancy. It's nothing elaborate. I don't use any exercise machines or anything. All I use is free weights. You don't need any elaborate equipment at all. You can even do, you can just use one weight for your tricep extensions back, your overhead extensions. You could just use one weight just like that. You don't have to hold two. You could just use one. Whatever works for you, that's what you should do. That's what I tell people with cooking, and that's what I'll tell you with exercising. This is what I do. You should do what works for you, and I don't know what works for you. Your doctor and some exercise person who actually knows what they're doing can tell you, can help you with that, not me. I'm a goober on the internet. But that's what I do. And I, so I just wanted to take a minute on this Friday night to show you that. Now I got to get on with doing laundry and other stuff I got to do around here. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this weird one-off video from what I normally do. Um, but this, yeah, this, these things that I've shown you are things that I do throughout the week, every single week. I mean, even when I'm on vacation, I do stuff. So um, I just do it. I just do it all the time. And you can you can get there. Now I don't have perfect arms, but they're a whole lot better than they used to be. And I have a lot more strength too than I used to have. And another thing people don't think about, and this is something I need to work on, is grip strength. Do you have good grip strength? Because that's important too. Now it's not gonna make your arms look any, any different, but you might wanna get one of those exercisers, like the little, the little squeezy thing, like it has the, it's made out of metal and it has the grips, you know? Because, um, what was it? I, it was, I read something not too long ago that men, their grip strength compared to two or three generations ago is drastically lower. Like men today cannot grip, they don't have the grip strength that their grandfathers had. We have a drastic reduction in the grip strength of adults um, over the generations. And it's something you can definitely improve and it's something I, I have not been working on, I probably need to, is grip strength. And weight bearing exercises are so good for your body especially as you get older. I have heard, and I don't quote me on this, I do believe it can help fight osteoporosis. Weight-bearing exercises are very good for your bones. And it's, it's, they're good for your, it's good for your bones, it's good for your muscles, it's good exercise, it's good for mental clarity. 
It's, it's just, it's good for every part of your body. And as I said at the beginning, your body gets you through every day. Think about everything your body does to get you through the day every day. Can you take just a few minutes a day to kind of give back to your body for everything it does for you? And that's the way I look at it when I exercise. I, it's like me telling my body, thank you. <laughs> thank you for getting me through another day. I appreciate it. And it will give you strength and it will make it easier to get through your day. If you have strength and stamina, it's good for you. And balance, you want to work on your balance. I can't stress that enough. Work on your core strength and balance. That's another thing I do. I do aerobics. I do cardio. I do balance, core strength. Um, kind of a thing kind of like Pilates. I do a lot of different things throughout the week. It's not just one type of exercise. I do all different types throughout the week. Like tomorrow morning, it's mostly floor exercises and core strength and stretching. And then Sunday, I'm back to cardio again. And then Monday, I do um, weight training. Tuesday, it's cardio again. Wednesdays, I'm taking off right now because of my job. I just need a day off during the week. Thursday is strength, a little bit of cardio and core. Friday, I usually take off. <laughs> so right now I'm not, I'm not working out six days a week like I was. I'm, doing, I'm only doing five because the job is, I'm, t I'm tired at the end of the day, but I'm doing what I can. I want to get back to where I'm doing my Wednesday class as well. Wednesday is, um, what is Wednesday? Strength training and strength training and a little bit of cardio. So but I try to take care of myself because I want to live a good long time. I want to be here to aggravate my kids for years. So I try to take care of myself. But anyway, again, that is just for all the people that ask me what I do for my arms. That is basically what I do throughout the week. I don't do it all at once. I just, you know, do it as I go. And I hope you enjoyed this video that was for entertainment purposes only. I cannot say that enough. And it is what I do. I fully respect what you do, but this is what I do. You should do what works for you, and I don't know what would work for you because you are a different person from me. But again, look on uh, look on YouTube. I mean, you're already here. Shoot, go look around on YouTube and see if you can find some arm exercise videos. I'm sure there are ton of tons of them that you can find and you know try out and see if you like them. And Beyonce's "Love on Top" is a really good song. For it's a nice, it has a nice beat to it as well. It has a, the, the beat is about right for, you know, you can do your exercises without really having to hurry. You can do them nice and slow and just change them about every 30 seconds through the song or every 45 or 20 or whatever it is. There are like some natural breaks in the song that you kind of pick up on where you kind of hear the song change, change your exercise when you hear that and do it, just do a different one. Yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good arm exercise video. It really is. <laughs> I have, I, the class I go to, we, oh my God, we've done arm exercises to that song so many times. Good Lord. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. So there are a ton of different ways you can work out and I hope you find something that you like. And summer's coming, sundress weather, tank top weather. Hell, it's here down here in North Carolina. It's, it's nice out finally. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. I really hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.